Welcome to video number four on Microsoft Flight Simulator, where we are going to have a look at controlling the drone camera. We are currently flying in the neighborhood of Monte Carlo, and well, the idea is to do some sightseeing using the drone camera. Well, we could fly on, but it might be a safer idea to put the plane on pause for a while by pressing the pause key. And then to toggle between cockpit view and drone view, there is the insert key. I pressed it right now. This is the drone camera and well, we can move around. We have translations and rotations. Let's first do some translations forward and backward are the W and the S key on the keyboard. W is forward and S is backward. If I would like to reach Monte Carlo, yeah, I have to go forward, but as we can see, our speed is a little bit low. This will take a while. Luckily, we can also change the speed. There is shortcuts for it, but let's first have a look uh, so that we see that what we are doing. Go to, with moving the mouse, go to the camera and then press the showcase camera. And we can see over here we have a drone speed. We can move the slider with the mouse, but there also are shortcuts for it, which are F5 and F6. F6 moves it up and F5 moves it down. Uh, while we are at it, I'm also going to change the rotation speed. That is shortcut keys F7 and F8. And the rotation speed, yeah, around 10% is a nice value for me that is so let's see what we have accomplished now and yeah we are moving uh, considerably faster now and we will reach monte carlo in no time uh, we can also move left and right that is the a and the d key on the keyboard so a is left and d is right and they can be pressed at the same time so we can make a nice uh, yeah, movie. Uh, well, this is a bit zigzagging, but uh, you, you get the idea. The keys are uh, uh, deliberately uh, these ADWS keys close together on the keyboard. So we can make some nice uh, smooth moves over here. Okay, now we have reached an area maybe of interest. We can also go up and down. The up is the R key and the down is the F key. Let's go to the rotations. On the numerical keyboard, the four and six control the yaw and I already put the rotation speed at 10% uh, which makes that it is uh, yeah, more or less a smooth rotation. We also have pitch and that is the 2 and the 6 key on the numerical keyboard. So that is making this movement. And we also have a roll for what it's worth. That is the 7 and the 9 on the keyboard. Yeah, maybe in some instances this can be interesting, I don't know. Uh, if you would like to reset the roll, that can be a little bit tricky, but luckily there's also a shortcut for that, that is the space bar. And that resets our roll. Oh, maybe also the pitch, I have never tried it. Does it also reset pitch? Yeah, also the pitch. Well, these were the rotations, let's go on. We can also zoom in and out using the numerical plus and minus key. This zooms in and this the minus zooms out. And if we would like to return to our airplane, there is a complete reset and that is numerical key number five. That brings us right back at the tail of our plane. One of the little annoyances if we press numerical key 5 to reset the drone is that the speeds are also reset, which we can see if we go to the camera over here again. Uh, we had set this drone speed on 50 and the rotation speed on 10. Look what happens if I press numerical key 5. 
it automatically uh, resets those speeds. Uh, well, that is not <laughs> what you want, but at this moment in time it is uh, like this. I hope in uh, some uh, update this will get changed. So uh, let's do this again and uh, have a little more look at what we can do. Um, the drone is normally attached to the airplane. Uh, let's start flying again by pressing pause. Yes, we are flying. The drone is flying and uh, the or the, the plane is flying and the drone is attached to it. Oops, I have to make a little bit of a corner order otherwise we get into those mountains over there. Uh, the drone is attached to the airplane. Um, and well, I can detach it by pressing the top key. Look what happens, my airplane is flying away and the drone, well I can control it uh, like uh, we did, did uh, a while ago with all these keys. If I press top again it doesn't catch up, so I have to press the 5 button again to catch up. And now my speeds have again changed. Um, ok, there's another shortcut key which is control top which locks the view, I pressed it right now, and it locks the view to the airplane so I can now make movements and with the with the drone but it always keeps the airplane in focus and that is of course nice if you would like to uh, make these nice cinematic shots and let me press F5 again another thing that is happening I am now moving my joystick but nothing is happening the, the airplane is uh, not controllable there's luckily a shortcut for that also which is the C key and right now I pressed it and now I can control the airplane well you don't have any uh, HUD like in the external view so it is a little bit on uh, on what you see uh, and uh, never sure what is really happening but of course we can at any moment in time jump back into the cockpit prefer a really fine drone control or camera no matter cockpit external what have you uh, it is nice to attach a second joystick or an Xbox controller because that uh, can really create those nice cinematic shots. Let's have a look. I'm going to change the uh, speeds again to our uh, oh, the drone speed. The drone speed is going on 4 and the rotation speed on, uh, on 10 and then let's have a look what we can do with an external controller uh, that should be quite some fun because the movements I'm now uh, using a joystick the movements that we can make with this uh, drone are now yeah really really uh, slow and well you can make these these beautiful cinematic shots let me press control top again to keep the airplane in sight and yeah well we can use uh, this for yeah very very slow movements and let's let's go up a bit and then make some rotations and well this is of course uh, yeah something that you can never reach with these uh, keyboard shortcuts it is simply impossible to to make these smooth movements uh, only with your keyboard and I can move forward again to to yeah, ju just make a fly by with the airplane and yeah that is that is of course something that you cannot do with the keyboard shortcuts the very fine control that you have this way is is just unreachable so if you have a spare joystick or maybe just buy an extra joystick why not then you can make these bindings to control the drone and that is a really smooth camera work there's also some focus uh, or defocus um, buttons that you can press uh, they are not in this video but you can have a look at all the shortcuts and then you you see how you can get your plane out of focus or in focus and and the depth of focus and then you can play with it to make really beautiful movies 
Well, this was it. Uh, the next camera that we'll going will have a look at is the external fixed cameras. Maybe see you back there.